Ladies and gentlemen, Deutschbag here with another Let's Play Gran Turismo video. Uh, this time I am taking a look at the Lunar Exploration Challenges. Uh, there are three challenges to this, and uh, right now we're looking at the first one. Uh, with the first one, there's not really a whole lot to say. Um, the first time you play it, and like maybe the first, like, probably 30 seconds about where we're at right now you're gonna say oh this isn't really that bad however once you get past that point it's a little bit strange because the slightest little bump can flip you over or if you hit a bump the wrong way um, the vehicle can just it just goes flying or it flips over and it's really really annoying so if you while you're watching right now um, try to keep note of the paths that I'm going on and uh, one thing you're going to notice is that was actually really lucky right there that I just made it past that. But uh, one thing you're going to notice is that I actually do flip over in this one. Not right there, but it's shortly after this. Um, and luckily I had enough time to uh, continue it, but you can just see how the terrain really affects the way that uh, you're driving. Um, if you end up like this, let off the gas and just uh, try to straighten it all back out once you land. But uh, yeah, if you ever, you know, vehicle pointing straight up in the air like that, just just let off the gas for a little bit. Uh, here's actually where I flipped over it. It was the tiniest little rock and it made me flip over. So you really have to be careful about what you hit on the ground because the smallest thing uh, will flip you over. And it's a real pain. Uh, I don't remember how many times exactly this one took me. Uh, I don't think it was very many though. I wanna say it was about maybe like three, three runs, maybe four runs or something like that, and then I ended up getting there. It is the longest of the three challenges. It's roughly three minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds. As you can see, you know, target is uh, 3.30, so you want to stay under that, and I think I came pretty close to doing it in three minutes. This one's actually probably the most boring out of all of them, because the other ones, uh, you know, require knocking over cones and stuff like that. This one is just kind of a point-to-point. -point. Actually, you know what, the second one doesn't require cones. But it's a little more interesting in the second one because you're going downhill, so... I don't know, this one is just like kind of flat and you don't really see anything. It's just like, alright, yeah, I'm almost there. Cool. Uh, whatever. But, um... Like I said, there's no real strategy to this one. If you take a look at the uh, the path that I took, you can see that the, oh, I, oh, I thought I flipped over there too. Apparently I didn't. Cool. But uh, just watch the path. That's that's really all there is to it. Be careful for anything that's on the ground. Steer around it if you can. Um, there might be an alternate path that works better for you. This is just the way that I was able to accomplish this uh, and get a uh, get a gold. Now with the second one here, it's uh, like I said, you're kind of going downhill, and uh, like this actually looks cool. Like you can kind of see the the background there. Like you see this huge crater, and I don't know. It just, to me, this one was just more interesting. Um, you're probably asking why are you in this view right now, and the reason for that is because with the angle of the uh, of the slope that you're going down. And the uh, the view the view of the car is important, or uh, the buggy or rover, whatever this thing is that we're driving. But um, it was really hard to see things that were in front of me there, so I had to use this view in order to uh, get around certain rocks or get around. There's uh, like holes or craters all over the place, so it was awesome. Uh, this view was awesome for avoiding those. Um, this one actually did take me probably like five or six tries to get right. You can see my ghost is uh, pretty close behind me, but at certain points I just got hosed up and that's what kept uh, so kept messing me up and making me restart. So uh, this one is not that long, uh, or not as long as the last one I should say, 2 minutes 30 seconds. So 
That's nice because it's at least a little bit shorter, but still a pain nonetheless. I, I think it's funny that my ghost actually passes me here, and that's the part where I got messed up, as I went right down in that little gutter there. And, uh, yeah, see, you could see my ghost flipping over, so that's where I lost a lot of time. Um, those are things you want to be very careful about, because it's like, even if you hit the brakes, as soon as you come out of there, uh, you saw that there was like a pile of rocks and... If you've played through the first the first one, you know that uh, those rocks, like as soon as you hit those, you're you're pretty much done for. Take it really slow. If you if you go this route, take it really slow going up that hill, and then just can on it when you're on your way back down. Because um, if you continue to gas it while you're uh, while you're at the uh, top of that, you're just gonna go flying over it and you're probably just going to uh, flip your little buggy over, so uh, just slow down and as soon as you get to that, that peak point, um, like I said, just can out it again and you'll be able to like just jet right to the finish line here. As for the last challenge, this one is really important. The best way I would suggest doing this is watch, watch the route that I take for the first, just watch it all the way through. Then go back and watch it again, and pick like three cones, three or four cones. Do four cones at a time. Quick hit the pause button, and then uh, you know watch the next four cones in the video, and then go back and try to get those next four done, or five, however many you feel like doing, or you feel uh, you can handle. And I think that's the best way to do this, just because it's. Uh, it's hard to remember the course, and if you don't have a good line through the entire course, it's really hard to uh, it's really hard to get all 30. Um, this one took me quite some time to figure out. I think I think I probably ran out of time the first couple times I tried it, or I only got like 22 cones or something like that. So, I mean, this is a very, very strategic course. Um, even if you have to watch a video two times or three times to, to, get, uh, to get a good feel for it, I highly suggest doing that because it will make your time a lot easier. Hope this helped. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.